Trump's fundraiser on the USS Iowa and San Pedro was greeted by many dissenters. They were there to speak out against his statement. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. I can't imagine how anybody could say something as odious as Mr. Trump's claim. My message to him, no, Mr. Trump, they're not bringing, they're not bringing rapists, they're not bringing drugs, they're not bringing thugs, they're bringing freedom, they're bringing hope. They're bringing a reminder to us that America is great and will remain great because we are an inclusive country. And I gotta tell you that you don't have to be Mexican to deeply be offended by Trump's comments. You just have to be an American who loves his country and accepts humanity of your hard-working neighbors. That's what you have to do. And Donald Trump doesn't know what it means to be an American. But you know who does? The hundreds of thousands of Mexicans, Chicanos, and Latinos who live in the 35th Senate District. They know it. Same goes for the countless Mexican-American veterans who've risked their lives for our country by serving in our armed services. And the thousands of Latino Americans, families who've lost their loved ones in battles to protect our freedom. That's why, that's why, that's why, when I asked the question earlier, that's why I introduced this summer Resolution 39 in the State Senate in response to Donald Trump's outrageous and un-American remarks about Latino families. The resolution calls upon the state of California to divest from any business relationship with Donald Trump, period. The Trump Organization or any of its affiliate business operations. It also encourages private businesses and individuals throughout California to do the same. And I am proud to say that our state Senate voted just last week to pass this unprecedented measure, which sends a real and powerful message that here in the great state of California, you can survive and we will not tolerate the nonsense, the hatred, and the bigotry of Donald Trump. My name is Ray Cordova. I'm a veteran of the Vietnam service. I want to thank Senator Hall for giving me the opportunity to be here today as a proud veteran. I might add I have five younger brothers and my mother went to that train station six times. How many times did Donald Trump's mother go to that train station? We didn't risk our lives so that our family members can be wrongfully called rapists and murderers and drug dealers. I am a proud veteran of the United States Army. And I am proud to stand next to Senator Hall in support of SR 39 calling on all Californians to divest from Trump. Yes, that's right. that's right. To me, the USS Iowa isn't just a ship. It represents what I'm willing to risk my life for. Freedom, inclusion, liberty, justice. To have someone like Donald Trump stand on it and spew nonsense about what he thinks it means to be an American is unacceptable. Right. Do you know who knows what it means to be an American? How about the 65,000 immigrants who serve in the U.S. military right now? Right now. They courageously risk their lives for the country they call home. I'm standing in front of you today as the president of the San Pedro Democratic Club, a veteran, an American, calling on all of you to join me, Senator Hall, and the state of California to personally divest from Donald Trump.
Caroline Gakika. And uh, why did you come here? To protest Trump. He just focused right on the Mexicans. Right. You know, and I don't feel that that's right. And also his uh, comments towards women. My name is John Dell Smith. I'm not sure about him because he never said anything about the environment. He never made clear what he would do to protect the environment. Because all these politicians don't give a damn about the people or the environment. Right. All they care about is the money, greed, whatever. Right. But that's my thing is that they haven't just, what's, what's, he hasn't made himself clear on that. Because in this country there's not too much unfairness. Because I don't give a damn who you are, it's still unfair in this country. Right. You know, that's, that's just the way it is. Contrary to Donald Trump's racist comments, the historical record shows that people of his ilk from England, Spain, Holland, Germany, Belgium, France, among other white European countries, didn't send their best when they invaded the Americas. The first illegal immigrants to America were Europeans, who, in what is now the U.S., practiced genocidal policies on Native Americans, raped their women, and pillaged their land. Illegal European immigrants then proceeded to invade Africa, conquering and enslaving millions of Africans, brought hundreds of thousands of them in change to what is now the U.S., and built the capitalist U.S. economy on the tortured backs of African slaves. While the British waged two opium wars to force China to legalize the opium trade, it was Euro-Americans who started a war against Mexico, which Abraham Lincoln considered illegal, that led to the annexation of half of Mexico. It made Mexicans on the wrong side of the new border illegal aliens in their own land. The same Euro-American presidents, like George Bush, illegally crossed borders to invade Iraq and cause death and destruction that led to the destabilization of Iraq, Libya, Syria, and Afghanistan. Wars that created an immigration of hundreds of thousands of Afghans, Pakistanis, Iraqis, Libyans, and Syrians. Yet, as the proud daughter of an illegal Mexican immigrant, Unlike Trump, I know and not assume that most of Euro Americans are good people. Yo soy del pueblo. I am of the people. And Euro Americans are also my family, friends, and neighbors.